Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. As I said previously, I've got a video on just about all of the Parker double edge safety razors. I've got about four more to go, I think. So today, we'll pick up on one more of them. This is the Parker 64S stainless steel closed comb three piece safety razor. It's got a stainless steel handle. The head is still Zamac, but the handle is very hefty. It's nice and long. Look, it fits in the palm very easily. The specs on this razor, it weighs in at four ounces or 113 grams. The overall length from top to bottom is 4.25 inches or 108 millimeters. So it's a quite hefty razor. Let's take a walk around. Here's the top. Smooth chrome, gleaming chrome. As you can see, it's a three-piece razor. It starts off with banding up on top, thin, and then a band that protrudes, and then another band which is a little bit wider, and then one that's even wider than that, all smooth chrome. Then it gets into this very precise checkered knurling right here on the handle with another smooth band, more knurling at the bottom, and the very bottom, smooth chrome. No logo on the razor. Let's disassemble. Unscrew the handle. Remove the top cap. Safety bar. There's a look at it. If you buy it from Shave Nation, it comes with a five pack of Parker blades, but today I'm going to use, I'm gonna switch it up, a Persana Prep blade. These are made in the USA. One of my new favorite blades right here. You can see what it looks like. On the face of it, it reads Persana, made in USA. It's the same thing on both sides. So that's the blade I'm gonna use. I've been having some really great shaves with this blade lately. Just drop it right over the threaded post and the two pins like so. Reinstall the safety bar with the striations or the grooves facing the blade. As always, never the other way. That would be backwards. And then this does have a recessed area where the handle meets up perfectly and locks everything down. You can see the reveal is perfect on both sides. As far as blade overhang, very slight on the outside edges, about 1 16th of an inch, that's it. Not much at all. I'll use a shaving soap today. This is Parasso Sensitive Skin. Check out this jar. Not much left in here. It's been used and abused a few times. So normally you can swirl in there, but there's not enough left. You can see it's bouncing around in there. Really not, a le not enough left to swirl. So I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm gonna drop some into my Shave Nation bowl, which I've got soaking with water and I just dumped that out. So I'm gonna just drop it into the lather spot down there. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this, say a chunk about this size, right there. And I'm actually gonna put it down in there. See if I can press it down into the spot, see if it'll go in there. Yeah, not bad, kind of compressed down into the spot, the lather spot down at the bottom. I'm gonna fill up my brush soaking cup with some hot water. And here's the brush, Trafalgar T3. This is the largest of the Trafalgar brushes. There's a T1, T2, T3. This is the largest. It reads Alexander Simpson. And then on the reverse side, it's Sovereign Synthetic Fiber, handmade, right there. That's what it looks like when it's dry. It's a nice, tight, dense knot, soft. If you're a vegan, it's synthetic, so you really love that. Drop that right into the water, and you will see what happens. How it kind of splays apart like that. Got some grooves in there, so I'll give it a couple shakes. Dump out the water. We'll go right into the Shave Nation ceramic lather bowl, see what we can do as far as mixing a lather. Just press those tips. It's not really sticking to the bottom, it's kind of bouncing around on me a little bit. So I'll just keep forcing it back down in there. It's much easier if you can just, if you have enough soap left where you can just dip the brush in there, wet the tips, and then go into a bowl and generate further lather. But this is a little, a little troublesome with the bits of soap spinning around. 
but we will make do. We'll do the best we can. We don't give up that easily, right? Just keep pushing them down into the lather spot. And we got some lather coming up around the top. I lost the piece down there on the floor. But as you can see, the lather is coming up around the edges. Just a little more water in the mix. There we go. Plenty of lather right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Lots of lather. Plenty for several passes. Here are the two pieces that hit the deck. I'll get rid of those. They were just overkill. We don't need that much to generate our lather. I've got the lather mixed up. I'll warm up my face. We'll get right to the shave. All right, you can see my face is warm, turning red. All right, let's lather up. Got our brush and our bowl. Copious amounts of lather right here. Nice little peak. Starting on the right, working our way over. And you can brush it, paint it, you can dab it, you can swirl it. However you choose to apply the lather, just so you drive it into the beard. Prepare it for the shave ahead. Excellent. Not much of a scent on this soap. That's designed for sensitive skin, so that leads toward the fact that no essential oils or anything like that. It does contain oatmeal and green tea, which is really good for the skin. Let's swipe, swipe. Clear the runways so we can see our sideburns. All right, here we go. The Parker 64S stainless steel, closed comb, three piece safety razor. Loaded with a Persona prep blade. Warm it up under the hot water. Very easy to grip, even with wet fingers. Very precise knurling on the handle, nice and hefty. Find our angle, work our way down. I had two day beard growth. No problem removing it. One side filled, flip it over. Very easy to drop in the palm and spin, no problem. Let's rinse. Rinses out easily. Cut the sideburn on the other side. For your sideburns, you can start a little bit lower and then work your way up to exactly where you want them. Uh, this Persona blade, I can't say enough good things about it. Very smooth. And you get the feeling that you will not cut yourself with it. Even going over the curves. Both sides filled, rinse it. Mustache, scoop right under the nose. Beautiful. Rinse that. Just a slight face rinse. Any residual cream could be left on. Okay, let's lather up for a second pass. Just a light coating of shaving cream this time. The bulk of the beard has been removed. Figure eight, smooth everything out. This 
swipe. Clear the runways again. First pass was north to south with the grain. Now we'll go across the grain. Very hefty razor. Just let the weight of the razor do the work. Four and a quarter ounces. Mowing through your beard, no problem. Rinse. Against the grain on the neck. Both sides filled, rinse it off. Just go in with the corner under the nose and clean out those hairs on a slight angle and then lay it flat. Beautiful. Rinse that. A final rinse of the razor. Cold water rinse to the face. Very refreshing, cooling. Excellent shave. This is where I would normally apply my Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block, but guess what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't have it here, so I won't be doing that today. We're gonna skip that step. I normally don't skip that step, but we will pat the face dry. If you want to see that applied, you can check out just about any of my other previous videos to see the Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block. Seals off your skin, closes off any nicks or weepers if you got any, but we did not get any. We just got beautiful baby smoothness. Total beardage removal, total smooth shave. We will apply some uh, Parasso Sensitive Skin Aftershave Balm. Oh, not too much. About that much in the fingertips. Massage that together right to the skin. Cooling, calming, refreshing. Invisible layer of protection for your face throughout the day. Look at that, beautiful. As you can see, I went from a two day beard growth to baby smooth on the cheeks, mustache, chin, neck, everything is. Just super smooth, great shave provided by the Parker 64S. Stainless steel handle, the Zamac head. I would like to see the head stainless steel, but they didn't do that. So it is what it is. Still very hefty, feels great in the palm, enough where you don't have to apply any pressure. The weight of the razor is just enough to get the job done. And paired up with the Persona blade, man, just about any razor now with the Persona blade, fantastic shave coming from that and made in the USA and they're called persona prep a lot of hospitals use these to prep patients before surgery so that's why they're pretty famous that's what they're known for please like comment subscribe share my videos with your friends over 600 videos shaving and more thank you very much for watching visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies I'm Geo Fat Boy have a great shave have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.